Disclaimer. I don't want to put DBDR down, and I am definitely not claiming that he would have a girlfriend if he behaved differently, but I want to compare him to other sub-5 males. Because bad looks excuse a lot, but not everything. Imagine you are in a wheelchair. You are the only kid in your class that can't walk. You get some mean comments from time to time but generally people leave you alone. Then one day a new kid comes in class. He just moved to your town and he is also sitting in a wheelchair. His voice is also kinda weird. Now, do you make fun of his voice and feel superior to him? Or do you feel empathy for him since you both share a difficult situation? In the latest video of DBDR, he complains about not being able to make friends. It's definitely very hard to meet people nowadays, especially like around like my age. And that's what we we're talking about too. We're like, where the f what do you even do? Like, what do you do to meet people nowadays? You know, there's really nowhere to meet people. That's one of his biggest complaints in most of his videos. It's of course a legitimate complaint. The older you get, the more difficult it becomes to get into social circles. However, there are legit ways of trying form relationships, and there are ways that are pathetic. Later in the same video, DBDR is reporting about going to a bar where he meets two guys who both buy drinks for him. One guy is the boyfriend of a girl he knows and the other guy is just a random dude who apparently is a little nerdy. This is how he comments on the guys. <laughs> it's like the hairline is like this square, just rectangle in the middle of the head, the middle of the skull. <laughs> and, then, and then it just like, like disperses into like a T. It's fucking bald. <laughs> So it just goes down. It just, you know, splits in the middle. The way this guy was walking, it was like moving back and forth. I don't know how to like describe this, man. I mean, I'm surprised his fucking kneecaps didn't fucking blow out. <laughs> I am a huge DBDR fan, but to me, this is just garbage behavior. Who do you think you are? You are complaining all day about lookism, but then take the first chance you get to laugh about unattractive people. It's just so childish. Like DBDR is some shit face Karen complaining that the guys in the club don't match her height requirements. Those guys have literally done nothing wrong. I mean everyone laughs at memes on the internet, but that nerdy guy was probably in exactly the same situation DBDR is in. He just wanted to get out the house and meet some people in real life. It is just such a childish behavior to me. And I can already see the comments, oh he is a sub-5, let him have fun. Like being sub-5 forces you to be a garbage human being. And the rest of the night he spends telling a girl, who has a boyfriend that he loves her, and that she is so hot. I was saying, I love you dude, I love you dude. She was like, I love you too man, I love you too man. Like she's, I must have said it like at least a hundred fucking times guys. And you know, the I love you's turned into, oh you're so hot, you're so hot. Like it just... The more alcohol, I don't know, I just ended up saying it a couple times. He also tells her that he want to have sex with her. So if she remembers the drive home, right, she has to remember me saying that I wanted to have sex with her. Like, she has to remember the hundreds of times I fucking said that. I don't know. I seriously don't know. But... Later he is disappointed that she wasn't interested. Why would she be interested? You are a drunk sub-5 who asked her why she never changes her pants. Why would she be attracted to you? Why would anyone like to be surrounded by a drunk guy who can't get over his crush? I mean here is the situation. She knows he has no job. She knows about his mental health. She knows he is ugly. She knows he is short. She knows she has a boyfriend, and yet DBDR actually thinks he is allowed to stick his dong in her? That's like the most delusional and blue-pilled thing I have ever heard. DBDR has absolutely nothing to offer but then is disappointed when he gets rejected. DBDR couldn't even become a beta provider if his life depended on it. He was a drunk unattractive guy acting like a little child. Nobody did anything to him. Quiet the opposite. And I am not saying that he would have a girlfriend with he behaved differently. 
I think it's totally over for him in America, but that doesn't change the fact that he is acting like an idiot. I mean every second guy is sub-5, and those guys have at least some friends. They go to birthdays, sporting events, or festivals. If DBDR really wanted to he could meet up with people from his community and do normal activities. I think unfortunately many people in this community are evolving from being a child to being a man-child. I have nothing against people who don't want to get a job or don't have friends, but at least stop trying to relieve high school. And of course people in the comments are like, oh, if you would look like Jeremy Meeks, that wouldn't have happened. True, probably not. Jeremy Meeks would have had a better night. But not just Meeks. Basically every other sub-5 guy would have handled this situation better. The girl DBDR was hitting on, the one with the boyfriend, even brought another girl with her when she came back from the bathroom and DBDR didn't talk a single word with her. Because he was so busy humiliating himself. Look, if he had spoken to that other girl and she would have start laughing and telling him how ugly he is, then I would understand why he is complaining but nothing like that happened. I know I am a bit overreacting, but I just can't see the black pill. It's the same with his job. He quit, then they told him that he can have the position back, if he starts the other day, but DBDR does a no-show because his foot hurts. I mean it sucks that your foot is hurting, but this isn't school. If you had a company and your worker wouldn't show up, you would also not want him anymore. If you want it or not, everything is transactional. When you are a child people will just give you things, but at some point you have to ask yourself, what do I provide? At this point DBDR is giving away free validation to a girl that has a relationship and therefore probably not that many simps available at the moment. That's the only thing he has to offer. In exchange she doesn't mind being seen with him in public. What more can he expect?